Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mbarak and I welcome you to another daily Android Material UI video challenge. In today's video, we are going to make something like this. We are going to make a beautiful form with an image background and I'm going to call it, uh, how should I call it? A form with this in, in a stack or whatever you call it, you will see. Uh, so in this form, we'll have uh, here an image where the user can be able to select an image to pick an image and they'll be able to enter the email, the username and password and then we'll have this create account uh, button on the bottom. And in behind it, you'll have to put any image of your choice for your company, for your organization or for your own personal image, just whatever you want. So this is the form that we're going to do in this video. I hope you're ready. And then let's do it right now. Okay, in the very first place, I'll go to our project. Where's the project though? I think it's this one that we've been doing, dealing with before. So I'll go and uh, create this uh, form. Uh, just like we can see here, I call it card uh, sign up stack form. So I just right click here, I'll go to the project. And then right click on the form section, then new, then uh, I'll select um, empty activity and then empty activity there so i'm going to call it form sign up card stack because we're going to use the word the cards in a form of a stack so i'll click on finish so that the project should be create the activity so the activity has been created and then this is the layout so click on split so that we can be able to uh, modify the layout uh, with, as you're seeing the output okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the project. Of course, I've already created it before. So I'll change the main layout to the to become the relative layout, just like they always do. So I'll change this one and make it relative layout. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and give it orientation of vertical. Okay, so orientation vertical. And then after, we'll go ahead and give the image, the image that is going to span the whole background, okay? So I'll copy the image here and make it there. So this image, I already have it, but for you, you can download any kind of image that will match with your content and then make it in the background just like the way you can see here. It is having width of match parent and has height of match parent and they're using relative layout. That's why I can see. It has the other content will come on top of it because it's relative layout. So after doing that, we'll go ahead and give um, what a view that is going to separate this uh, form from the top side. Okay, like that. That's a view. We cannot see it because it does not have the background color. Okay, it's just having an overlay background color as you can see here. If you don't have this one, just come and copy this one that you. Can and include it in your what in your colors okay this one overlay dark 30. then after doing that we'll go ahead and uh, create this icon okay up compact toolbar this toolbar that you'll be seeing here on top but you can leave it uh, it is optional here because they're not going to implement it but if you want your project to be complete so that you should be able to have the toolbars on top of your project you can implement it okay so Alt and Enter to create these namespaces. I can as well remove them. Because they are known in this project. Okay, so we we'll have the app bar there. Okay, so I hope you can pause the code and look at it and you shouldn't be confused at this point. It is having the theme of dark action action bar. Okay. So after doing that, we'll go ahead and uh, now create. No, no, no. We'll go ahead and create um, a nested scroll view, and in that nested scroll view, it will keep us safe uh, to access all sizes of the screens. Okay, that's why I use the nested scroll view, and then we'll give it Alt and Enter. Focus in that Alt and Enter, and then I'll make sure that I close the nested scroll view. Okay, so we give it height, match parent, width, match parent, and uh, it is below the toolbar. You see, we're having this toolbar with the ID of toolbar, and you have to relate it to this uh, nested view. That's why I see it is below under the toolbar. 
Then after doing that, we're going to remove the scroll bars as none and then scroll cache as none also. And set to true. Then after we're going to give it a single child. Of course, the child that it will have, it have to, it's supposed to have one child. Uh, the necessary scroll view is going to be a, a what? It's going to be a linear layout. With orientation vertical. Okay. So inside this in layout, we are going to put our what? Our card. Okay. So this card, okay, it is a floating uh, action bar. I mean, it's a floating action button. It is having a uh, width of wrap content and height of wrap content, and it is clickable. And then it is uh, having the tint of gray 40. That's why I can see that kind of 40 behind there. I mean, that's kind of gray behind it. And then it's having elevation of 4 of 2 dp and uh, fab customize of 80. And then I press alt and sorry, 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 sorry. I press alt and enter to be able to include the what the the driver behind it. If it cannot do that, you just change this on Android and change this on uh, from up compared to what to SRC. And then you go ahead and uh, put the icon of add this icon add here but you can put any kind of image if you want okay so we have done that we may not see it as you're coding until you finish and run it so we'll go ahead and put the card below it okay and this card will have only one child of edit text so i'm going to copy this section and this section is going to represent this first field so after this, I'll go ahead and paste the card. And the inside this card, it's just a card that you can pause and look at the what are the attributes. These are attributes are self-explanatory because I've already explained them before. So just pause the video and look at them. And then it inside it, we have what? An edit text, which is having the background. Just put at uh, Android uh, transparent, okay? Android color and Android color transparent. I think that color is there. Okay, so you'll have the transparent uh, edit text as you can see here. Can you see this transparent edit text? So pause the video and look at this code carefully. Ah, so we proceed. Uh, to the next edit view so i'll just come and collapse this one because they are almost the same and then go paste it here after this card i'll add another card uh -huh. so then there are cards in form of stack so i'll also come and remove and copy just this uh, transparent line of android and also come and paste it here so we have the username so at this moment you shouldn't be confused at any point please okay just look at my code let me go go from top look at it look at it look at it and this is where we are look at the code you shouldn't be confused okay you shouldn't okay then we proceed to the next one because i've been explaining these things before so i'll put the password and the what and the confirm password and uh, the full name because these are self-explanatory and i've been doing them before so i'm going to put them here so i call them card in stack because they are cards on top of the other okay so i have password re-enter password and the full name here okay so i'll go ahead and copy this transparent thing and go and update the rest so i'll update this first one it's just the same thing, just only the change is this transparency attribute. So please go ahead and do the same. Okay, then lastly, we'll be putting the button, which is uh, going to be also a card under the next scroll view okay 
So we'll go under the next scroll view and then we're going to put the card with the button that we are talking about. Okay, so that is it. You see, after the next scroll view, and then I make sure that uh, it is having width of match parent, height of wrap content, and then it is having a uh, margin top of spacing medium, and uh, it's having the color of orange, and then we're having uh, the parent of bottom, uh, parent bottom true, and uh, it is having the card corner of 2DP, but it is uh, under the word up not under Android and then you have card elevation of 2 dp and also card use up compact padding of compact padding of true set to true so we have this material repo it is an external library material repo layout it's an external library that um, we need to include in our project so let's go and get it just copy the code and then come and paste it in your browser i already have it i can just copy and paste it directly but i want to show you how i can get from github just search for material repo layout as one word and then you'll see it from what from github so here it is and then i'm just going to copy the what the implementation so you just copy this implementation so since for me i already have it I can just simply come to our project and go to the what to the gradle module and I'm going to search for material layout or repo okay so this is the repo effect it's, it's the same eh? it's the same that you will have from github Bali SV okay so Bali SV 1.0.2 Bali SV 1.0.2 it's one that I have so you can just copy this first pass first pass word the one in the tags and then we go to our project and then we go to project module and then instead of just duplicate this and then rub and then pay, replace it with that with material repo and then click on sync Then you will have that kind of repo in the layout that we're creating. Okay, so right now it is done. What it is resolved like this. Everything is now beautiful. Only that the, we don't have this style. So if I press the style, I'm going to do it. Okay, press Alt and uh, Control and click on it. So go to your styles. Uh, if you download the style that I shared with you already that it is there so but for me if I don't have it I just simply go to the project and go to to the values resources values and go to styles and then I add these pieces of line okay repo style white repo overlay true and then repo color white which is 080FFFF and then it is ripple hover true and ripple alpha 0 0.2 okay that's the ripple that we're going to have when you move our mouse over here so that is the style so by doing that we'll have created our beautiful form so let's go ahead and add this form in our heart in our we're going to add this form in our in our heart in our menu uh, so that you should be able to access it so I'll go to a project and I come here to form main menu and then I'll call just duplicate this method I can just give it the same name as the activity so I want this method to be called let me just make this one small letters okay and remove this word activity so that it should not look exactly like the name of the activity okay so I want this one to be called when uh, someone clicks on this one and then they I mean when someone calls this function you should open the what the form sign up for stack cards for card stack okay okay i hope we are together then i'll go to the front end by simply clicking on control and pray click on um form main and then i'll duplicate this button and i'll change the on click method to this form sign up card okay then i'll go ahead and run the project
so I click on forms and then you see sign up card okay oh I forgot to change the name <laughs> suppose we use sign up uh, stack just like this sign up card stack okay like that okay so sign up card stack then we have that beautiful UI so you can change this green uh, this this pink color also this uh, upper section to have the what the this this pink color so by doing like that we'll have something beautiful like that and I hope you are also able to do it then you can go ahead and put the what the logic for it you see that repo is the card that we added you see you see when I click there there is kind of repo behind it that's the library that we just added okay that whitish repo that I can see behind the button okay so I hope and in fact this is not a button it is a card but it looks to be clickable why because we put that repo uh, library so I hope we are able to do up to this point if you didn't please don't give up go ahead and repeat and see where you got wrong and make sure that you at least you're at this point because you still have a lot to cover and it wouldn't be great for you to give up to give up along the way just keep on following I know it's not simple for the first time but don't give up just keep following and always do your best to do the what to do the tasks because those tasks are the one that will make you challenge yourself and see if you're really learning and if you're not learning then you can also make some research or search the problems and fix those uh, tasks that i give you and it will make you understand how you can implement these things in what in different ways so we'll not go beyond that let's meet in the next video where we are going to look at more interesting forms please remember to share remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and remember to like the video if you find them helpful See you in the next video. And thank you again for watching.